Three, two, one. Action. Hi, loves. I'm so excited to take you through my heart opening series today. Heart opening is all about removing any blocked energy around your heart and also around your back. Other parts of the body gets love too, and when you're breathing, of course, that enhances your entire body. It really calms down your entire system. In our system, we have the parasympathetic and we have the sympathetic. The sympathetic is what we're in when we are drinking lots of coffee, stressed out, running around, and the parasympathetic is what we drop into when we breathe and we feel this sense of relaxation. So we're gonna be breathing in through the nose and out through the mouth, which is called circle breathing. Or you can do ujjayi breathing, which is in through the nose, out through the nose, with a slight restriction of the throat. However you decide to breathe is completely fine, but just move with the breath. So the first thing we're gonna start with, with the heart opening series, is cat cow. And right now I'm gonna do it seated, but I'm also gonna show you how to do it on your hands and knees. So right now you're gonna round your back, and then you're gonna arch and melt your chest forward. Again, round your back, and arch as you melt your chest forward. And you're gonna do this a series of times at your own pace, inhaling and exhaling. Inhaling and exhaling. And you keep doing that at any time you have stress and tension in your shoulders, in your chest, in your upper back, this cat cow can help you work it out. Breathing and movement. And now let's do a couple circles. This is just how I like to start my practice, a good warm up, just getting some flow in the body. I love circles, so I love circling it out. And let's go the opposite direction. Awesome. And if you have bad knees, you can actually do that cat cow again. Otherwise, I'm gonna show you how to do it on your knees. Make sure the knees are hip distance apart and the hands are underneath your shoulders. The eyes of your elbows are facing forward and your core is engaged. Navel is feeling in alignment with your spine. Now round the back, chin to chest, and arch shoulders away from your ears and gaze up. Again, round, chin to chest, and arch. Breathing as you move. Inhale, lift, exhale, curl. Inhale, lift, exhale, curl. And now we're gonna come down for our cobra. And you can do a small lift and lower with the hands just outside the shoulders. Lift and lower. Or you can go a little bit higher, lift and lower. Listen to your body. You should not feel any pain in your lower back. Lift. Level one. Level two. Come up a little bit higher. And if you're advanced, you can press to the ground and lift. Make sure you're relaxing your shoulders away from the ears. There's still a nice juicy bend in my elbows before I lower down. Pressing down through the hands, down through the pelvis. Feet are wider than hip distance apart. <laughs> Do it as many times as you need. And then just rest and sink. Elbows underneath the shoulders, fingers spread wide, relax the head. Find some time here to close your eyes. Inhale and exhale. Breathe. And then slowly engage the core and press yourself up. <clears throat> All right, so those are beginner back bends. So we're gonna go into a little bit deeper, but
but even if you did cat cow and a little cobra that's beautiful you can do that a couple times to warm yourself up see how you feel and then when you're ready to do something a little deeper you can so right now we're going to go into camel so with your knees a little bit wider than hip distance apart tuck your toes under place your hands on your heart and open the throat area so this really helps unblock your throat as you can see i'm moving i'm shaking make sure you don't feel any pain in the lower back if you feel any pain in your lower back come up a little bit right and then just drop your shoulders and then drop your head so you can go back further you can go back further but again being mindful of the lower back lifting through the heart breathe here you can even do anjali mudra prayer hands here and if you're back far enough you can reach for the toes also if you feel a lot of crunching in the neck then you can bring your neck to neutral so it's going to take a little weight and muscles of the neck but that's better than if you crunch here and you feel tightness and tension in the shoulder so find what feels good in your body if it feels good here you feel the shoulder opening you can also place the hands on the lower back if you feel a little tension in the lower back but feel what feels good find what feels good and relax into it you are welcome to untuck your toes head neutral find what's true for your body and just breathe when you're ready bring the hands to the lower back and slowly come down to the floor, bring the knees together to touch, and let's come into child's pose with the hands around the thighs, rounding the back. Deep inhale and exhale. Just take five deep breaths here. And then slowly round up one vertebra at a, at a time and then we're going to come back on our stomach now this is a little bit advanced but see how you feel bend your left knee bend your right knee and reach back towards your feet spread your toes spread your fingers wiggle them and you can stay right here for five breaths and then relax down especially if you're a beginner but if you can reach your feet you can press your foot into your hand and lift up we're lifting through the shoulders, we're lift, lifting through the thighs, breathing here. Finding the stretch, you can even rock back and forth. If you're advanced, you can engage the core, engage the thighs, and bring yourself all the way up, getting a really nice shoulder stretch. Glutes are engaged, thighs are engaged, shoulders are getting a nice stretch right here. And if you're at Level one, just breathe through it and lift again. Find where you're at in your practice and then let's all come down, hands underneath the head and relax. Deep inhale and exhale, sigh it out. Another deep inhale and exhale. Last time, inhale and exhale. Then slowly plant your hands down and press your feet up. All right, so that's just a really simple heart opening series. If you are dealing with your heart being broken, if you are dealing with just feeling the heaviness of the world, heart openers are really great to just remove any block energy around your heart. Remove any energy of you not being able to give and receive love. Sometimes when we get hurt, we, we tend to close our heart. You can't physically close your heart, but that means there is some stagnant energy around there because we've been harmed and we're scared. So the protective energy in our body, it just holds the energy there. We will want to be in flow state with our energy. So breathing and moving can help move that energy around the heart, around the upper back, 
And I hope you enjoyed this class. If you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up, leave a comment below what you liked, what you didn't like. And you're gonna have more of these videos. I'm gonna flow with you every Friday. So I have flow with me Friday, check in, flow with me and share it with a friend. Until next time, love yourself, love others and love the world. One day at a time, one breath at a time. Peace and love.